How you doing? I'm good. I'm doing all right myself. Um, Y'all are drinking liquor, which is a good thing. It's a good thing to drink liquor, to a point. I used to drink liquor. I didn't quit because I'm an alcoholic or anything. I quit because I'm 52. Because when you're like 20, 25, 30, you have a couple of cocktails, you get a little loopy, you get a little goofy, you get a little sexy. 52, you have a couple of cocktails, you get a little bitter, you get a little hostile. You start telling people exactly what you've been thinking about them for the past 30 years, and your skin gets even saggier and looser than it already is, and you get gas. I didn't quit drinking for my health and well-being. I did it for everybody else's. Man, I used to drink tequila sunrises. That was my favorite drink. I love tequila sunrises. And then one night I realized there was no sunrise after tequila. There is naught but a black fog that follows you around for two, three days solid. I saw Jesus, though, while I was drinking tequila. He said, say hi. (laughs) It's not the first time I saw Jesus. See, I was born on Christmas Eve. That's a heck of a time to be born, isn't it? Everybody says, oh, it must be so wonderful. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Everybody's so busy, nobody remembers you. And if they do, it's, oh, yeah, here's your birthday and your Christmas present. Live my whole life getting one gift for two occasions. That quit when I was about 18, and on everybody's birthday, I went, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. (laughs) Christmas come around, they got nothing from me. What happened? Don't you remember? (laughs) Then they started giving me two gifts. But the one thing they never did, well, one year they did. I always got birthday cakes with Santa on them. (laughs) Big, fat, bloated, pedophile-looking Santa Claus. (laughs) Big, nasty, round cheeks, big, ruddled lips hanging out, (laughs) glaring at you, all that hair and all that red icing, and oh, man, every year of my life, about 15 years old, I lost my nut. I picked up that knife to cut the cake on Christmas Eve and just, I hate you! I hate you, you mythological piece of crap! So my grandmother took pity on me the next year and decided to remain within the theme of the holiday and yet give me something different. So she made me a birthday cake with Jesus crucified on the cross right there on the top of that cake. Little chocolate jimmies for the thorns, you know, red hots for the drippy blood. You know, that cake's still sitting there. Nobody's gonna cut that thing.